guys, it's Brittany, and today's video is all about my scariest sleep paralysis experience. Now, I'm no expert on sleep paralysis, but I do know that it's the state between going to sleep, like you know when you're kind of, you're asleep but you're awake at the same time, it's that awkward state that you're in. You're kind of like asleep but you're aware of your surroundings. So it happens when you're just about to fall asleep and it also happens when you're about to, well, yeah, when you're waking up and it's kind of that awkward state of mind that you're in. So everybody has been through that weird state of being asleep and being awake, but it's at the same time, if you know what I'm trying to say. I'm no expert on this. I don't know too much about it but it can be really scary for some people. So people who suffer with sleep paralysis, when they're in that state, that state of mind can lead to terrifying hallucinations. These hallucinations can be some supernatural figure that almost like a shadow person. I've read some things that people kind of see a shadow. People it could be a demon, just some creature. So these people will experience their chest feeling so heavy and almost like they're being suffocated, very tight, it's hard to breathe, they're paralyzed, but they're aware of what's going on, but they can't move because their body feels paralyzed. A lot of people suffer with sleep paralysis on the daily, which is just terrifying and almost heartbreaking. Actually, it really is heartbreaking because it's so scary and I couldn't imagine going through that almost every single night or when you're taking a nap or whenever you're sleeping and hallucinating and you're not able to breathe and you're paralyzed. It must be terrifying. So with this video that I'm sharing with you guys today, I'm just telling you an experience that I had, which I believe was sleep paralysis when I was like 17. This is how long ago it was because I'm 25 now. So I think I was like 17 when this happened. And of course, you know, I still go through that state when I'm half awake and half asleep, but I don't really hallucinate. And if I am hallucinating, it's not scary and it's not like I can't breathe or I'm paralyzed. But this experience that I'm about to tell you guys, I was paralyzed. At the time, I had no idea what it was. I thought maybe I just had a nightmare or I was sick and I was hallucinating, but I wasn't sick. So basically, when I was 17, I took a nap one night. Um, it was like 7.30 or something. I, I was probably asleep for about half an hour or so. When I woke up, I was on my side kind of facing my wall. And when I woke up, I remember I could not move. My body was frozen and my heart was pounding and I felt like somebody was coming to my door because my bedroom door was closed. So I'm just laying there in my bed facing my wall. My eyes are just wide open and it's actually starting to get hard for me to breathe. All of a sudden, I hear my bedroom door slowly open and I think that it's my older brother coming into my room and he's trying to scare me or something. I don't know why I thought that, but like, I don't know. I just thought he was trying to freak me out or something like that. But then I knew it wasn't him from the way the sound of whatever it was was walking into my bedroom. It just didn't sound like him. And like my brother used to scare me all the time growing up. This is my older brother Tristan. He used to like freak me out all the time. So <laughs> it wasn't really out of the ordinary. So I'm still laying there, but I knew that it wasn't my brother. And I started getting absolutely terrified. And I'm just staring at my wall with my eyes wide open. I'm shaking. Well, I feel like I'm shaking on the inside. My body's paralyzed. I don't know what to do with myself. So this thing is getting closer and closer to me. And for some reason, I feel like, this is gonna sound so crazy to you guys. I felt like it was the Grim Reaper. And I know you guys are like, what? I never saw him or whatever it was, but that's what I felt was behind me was the Grim Reaper. And I just pictured, the heck is that? <laughs> now I'm hearing noises. I just pictured this thing in some cloak and just holding whatever the Grim Reaper holds, whatever that thing's called. And it's just standing right behind me. And I remember when I'm laying on my side like that and I could feel it, it was right behind me. And it's almost like it had this power over me, this control over me. And I was so scared. And I remember I had a flashlight kind of just laying in my bed. I don't know why, but there was a flashlight. And I wanted to grab it so badly and then turn around really fast and shine it in whatever the thing's face was. 
but I couldn't do that because I was paralyzed and it was almost like it was just there almost holding on to me making me paralyzed it's so weird I really cannot explain it so I'm laying there thinking to myself that the Grim Reaper is right behind me and I felt something poke me something just slightly touching my back and I was so scared you guys water was my eyes were getting so watery you know when you're so scared you're almost in a state of shock all of a sudden the pressure that I was feeling in my chest it started to fade away slowly I was able to kind of breathe again and I wasn't really paralyzed anymore I was I felt like I was able to slightly move my body and that the thing was moving further away from me if that makes sense and the best way to describe what I saw in my head because I never physically looked over and saw what was there I just saw it in my head and like I know that sounds absolutely insane but it was almost like you know in a dream when you can see yourself in the dream it's almost like you're a camera but you're like seeing out of the camera but you see yourself and you're not really yourself if you, that probably doesn't make any sense I hope you guys understand what I mean but what I was seeing in my head was, there is me laying on the bed, the Grim Reaper's right here, and then I'm right here, and I can see what's happening. And that's what I was seeing as I, my body's over here laying here with my eyes wide open. Just, that's what I saw in my head. If you guys, you guys understand that? So when the pressure in my chest started to fade and I was able to kind of move again, I grabbed that flashlight that was on my bed and I turned around so fast with my flashlight on trying to shine it in the thing's eyes that was there, but nothing was there nothing was in my room and also too it was pitch black in my room as this was going on I took a nap in the dark so this was all happening in the dark I was so scared I just sat in my bed thinking what the heck just happened am I gonna die was that you know the Grim Reaper came to visit me is that a sign that he's trying to say like I'm about to die like I have a short amount of time left to live so that was on my mind for a while I thought maybe I need to be it was a sign just saying like I need to be more careful with things I don't know but it bothered me for weeks even months actually and now it's been years later so it's not really bothering me that much anymore actually doesn't really bother me at all but just thinking about that experience was just it's just crazy to me and that was the only sleep paralysis experience that I've ever had that was so it felt so real and it was just so terrifying and I I just couldn't even move and I just it was hard for me to breathe so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below if you've ever had a crazy experience like that because it's pretty crazy it's, it's absolutely insane thank you guys so much for watching once again you guys rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson hashtag team Brittany 44 hashtag but runs run hey <laughs> hashtag GAC notice Brittany all of my links are right down there my Facebook my Twitter my Instagram and my snapchat even though I don't even snap <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.